Gregatron here. Got some music talk for you guys. Alright, I've been listening to rap music, you know, hip-hop for almost most of my life, you know. And over the past few years, I came across my favorite rapper, alright. Now, there's been a lot of good rappers. I still listen to a whole lot of good people, but this video here is my favorite, my favorite rapper. I'm not going to compare this guy to anybody or I'll at least try not to. Don't want to piss too many people off. But, uh, drum roll. Drum roll. Joe Button. Alright. This is really no surprise. I mean, it could be to a few people who don't know too much about Joe Button, but I'm just going to say, he's he's my favorite. I, I think he's one of the best. Uh, there's really nobody who can rap like Joe Budden. Now, this is my sophomore year in high school. My friend, he's like, hey, you ever listen to this dude? I'm like, nah. He's like, you know, he's the guy that made Pump It Up. I'm like, nah, not, not at all. And he's like, all right, well, listen to this song, listen to this, this. And I'm like, sure, yeah, I guess. I go home, listen to some stuff. I think... When I first got onto him, it was through the Escape Route album, because I think it came out that year, and I was like, I was like, this is some, this is some dark stuff. This is some pretty intense stuff. And then I went back and listened to the Padded Room and some even even older stuff. And I went back to my friend. I'm like, man, this this guy is pretty nice. This this is some pretty dope stuff. And you know, he's like, I told you. Then later on, I got on his Mood Music stuff. The first Mood Music I listened to was Mood Music 3. I know, I was a little late on that. Then I went back into 2 a little bit and jumped on 4 when that came out and still went back and forth between the Mood Music series and I still go back and forth in those series. 4.5, I bump all the time. So that's like the, the history of me, you know, finding Joe Budden. Since I was a sophomore, which was in 2008, so about four years ago. But let me explain why I think, or at least why he's my favorite, all right? I'll just say these stories he tells. You know, his stories can relate to nearly anybody. Or more specifically, his stories really re relate to me. He'll be talking about stuff and, like, word for word... He's saying real problems, real stories. Like, you know, a lot, a lot of rappers you can be listening to and you're kind of like, I doubt that he ever did that. Or, nah, that's probably not right. Ah, that guy's exaggerating. But no, not with Joe Budden. You know, I, I mean, some rappers you can just believe. You can just tell that they're telling the truth. Yep. Yeah. Joe Bunn to me is a prime example. You you know he's telling the truth. You can tell this is honesty. You I've never heard stories like Joe Button's story. You know, he paints pictures all the time, especially in this mood music mixtapes. If you haven't heard those, just go ahead and cop that. Because those are like the realest mixtapes ever. So he's got the best stories. Uh, you, you just really feel this dude. Uh, he can go from dark music, it, like personal stuff. He he can talk about his personal life. I'm I'm cool with it. Uh, then he can make club songs too. He makes a lot of good. Like he can make some bangers too, you know. But uh, I I put nobody above him to be honest. So what I, what I got, he's got some bangers, best stories. He calls himself the realest to ever do it, you know, and he's not just saying that, you know. He's the realest rapper. There's no one more real than Joe Budden. I'm sorry. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I don't want to disappoint y'all, but he's the realest rapper. And I'm not like a fanboy, because I listen to all kinds of rappers, but... It is what it is. So, I mean, what I would recommend, I say, 
I mean, the moon music is great, but for the newer stuff, like if you're just gonna get onto them now, a song called "Do Tell" is really good. Uh, just check out Moon Music Four. Check that out. That's probably not the deepest one, but from uh, currently. Also, I was listening to the Slaughterhouse mixtape on the house, and like the first few songs, like might have been the first four songs, didn't even have Joe Budd on them. And honestly, I was getting kind of mad. You know, I'm I'm listening to this mixtape, and I'm like, okay, then where's Joe Budden? What is this? Then he finally hops on and some really good tracks. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I'm cool with that. There we go. Now we got some Joe Budden. But yeah, just to check him out. I really enjoy like 95% of his stuff. So go ahead and cop that. And that's my favorite rapper.